Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Dayglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. When we last left off, we were deep in conversation with, um, with Lady something or other. Who was telling us about last night, what happened, and it made her, apparently it made her holiday worthwhile. So, let's sit down, get comfortable, and ask away. What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. It was just as I'd always imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight. Romantic music tinkling across the room. And then, a stranger's glance. Those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those tight trousers. He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. Ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. She didn't by any chance dress up as a clown and blow him up. Who was the guy who led you on? His name is Merlin. Merlin? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? My God, it's him! That's Merlin! She represented everything I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. He's the man I've been telling you about. That's the man who spurned me. All right, so, well, maybe she'll take him out for us. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. I am shocked, Mr. Stobart. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman, a man of honor. Do you know? I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. Okay. We enlisted another helper. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Well, maybe we have to break into the safe then. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. Hmm. Well, maybe he's out killing somebody else. Can you think of any use for this tool, ma'am? Oh, I can think of someone I'd like to use it on. Fair enough. Do you know what this is? I'd a guess. I'd say it was a clown's nose. That's right. It was worn as a disguise by a vicious killer. Ah, Mr. Merlin, perchance. That's him. Does this tissue mean anything to you? I'm no shrinking violet, but that object makes me feel quite queasy. I just couldn't bring myself to use the buzzer on this dear lady. Okay, so we've exhausted our conversation sh options with her. And we have some reading to do. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, met the most fantastic and insane Englishwoman, Lady Piedmont. Oh, Piermont. She recognized the photo of Khan, but said he claimed to be called Merlin. He's been lying to her, toying with her affections. Brave man, she's after revenge.
Okay, so she's playing the piano again. We don't want to go outside. There's a phone booth we can't use, statue we can't look at, but there's a guy we can talk to. Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Yes, that is me, in person. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, and probably telling him he's from some unpronounceable Eastern European country might be kind of offensive. Maybe he then wouldn't want to collaborate. Do you know a guy called Plantau? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, well, this guy's dead anyhow. Why do you ask me about dead men? I have seen enough of death to last me a lifetime. I'm, uh, sure you have. Have you seen a clown? I beg your pardon? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. Marx and Spencer. They are a pleasure and a comfort to wear, with much support. I'm real glad to hear that. You know, it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners are human too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. Wonder how much Marx and Spencer paid for that product placement. Have you any idea what this tool might be used for? I cannot guess. Would it mean anything if I told you it was for lifting drain covers? Such technology fills me with wonder. And he's a Nobel Prize winner. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Or yes, Merlin. I know this man. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. What does this clown's nose suggest to you? In my country, we have no use for clowns. I'm glad to hear it. They were dealt with most severely in the last cultural cleansing. What about the mimes? Did you get them too? All gone. Our streets are mime-free. Sounds like heaven. Does this goo-smeared tissue mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. All right, let's see if he knows anything about Khan or Merlin. What's your interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. You know he's a killer? Of course, amongst other things. What other things? Would you help me investigate Khan? That is not possible. My instructions are to observe. I cannot jeopardize my position as an honored guest of this country's government. Fair enough. May I shake you by the hand? I do not shake the hands of imperialist dogs. Now that's a real bad attitude problem you've got there. Actually, I think that's pretty sensible. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Uh huh. More people? We probably can't grab... Or we can't just grab the keys off of the board. There was no one registered under the name of Khan, but the name in the book for room 22 was Merlin. Yeah, again, why does some random guy who walked in off the street get to look into the books? I want some information. Who are you? The police? I'm conducting a private investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home, no? Right. What is that? Oh, the safe. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. If you say so. 
Do you know a man named Plantow? No, monsieur. Do you have a guest by the name of Khan? No, monsieur. Perhaps you would care to check the register. I already did. Hello, you know I am telling the truth. May Saint Armand strike me down if I lie. The man who calls himself Khan has a scar on his right cheek. Vraiment? I tell you, I do not know a man named Khan. Maybe not, but I noticed a change in his expression when I mentioned the scar. I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah, oui, monsieur. May I see some form of identification? Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation, Scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. I must have some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique ID than my Scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats. Well, we don't have any of that. What do you make of this tool? <gasps> Stunning, monsieur. I bet you handle it like a professional. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. What name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. It's Merlin, isn't it? Alias Khan, the clown. I told you, I cannot tell you that. Finally, a professional. At least in this case. Do you recognize this red nose? No, monsieur. What do you make of this tissue? Do you wish me to dispose of it for you, monsieur? Hey, no! It could be useful. I'm holding on to this. As you wish, monsieur. Perhaps you would like a little plastic baggie to keep it in? Nah, it's fine the way it is. Actually, a plastic bag would be very wise. Hey, shake my hand. I'd rather not, monsieur. I'm still sore from the shock administered by one of the guests. He was secretly concealing an electrical device in the palm of his hand. Practical jokes are so puerile, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Sure. Was it Khan by any chance? We had gotten it off the same guy at the store. Excusez-moi, monsieur. What? You are trying to steal that key, no? No way. Can we maybe enlist? Lady, keep forgetting her name, but in distracting the guy. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Nothing much, I guess. Did I show you this photograph? Yes, darling. So that's it. Let's see if we can go upstairs. Yes, we can. So, second door on the right? If the tailor's description was correct, this was the killer's room. The sign on the door read 22. The door was locked. Of course it was. Can we get into 21 and then move over? The door was locked. So, I have a feeling that that alley is going to be irrelevant. So let's, let's check that. Just a minute, monsieur. What's your problem? No problem, if you cooperate. What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flap. You bet! Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. Nothing, Guido. Zilch. Our apologies, monsieur. What? I had to report you to the authorities. Round here, we are the authorities. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, Flap. 
Okay. Would be interesting to know what exactly they were looking for. More trash cans. More garbage. Anything useful here? Doesn't seem like there's anything we can interact with. Hmm. That's strange. Is it maybe time to rope in Nicole? I don't think so, but it's worth a try, I guess. Question is, how do we get out of here? Hmm. So we're stuck here at the hotel. Probably until we solve whatever puzzle is here for us. We haven't quite figured out what that is yet. I mean, besides getting into the room, but how strange though that there's absolutely nothing in this alley. Here we go, pixel hunting. Hmm. Well, I guess there's nothing here. Either I completely missed something. Then we've talked to these guys. We've talked to the people inside. What now, monsieur? I've just been manhandled by a gorilla. Yes? I do not see any signs of a gorilla. No, not a real gorilla. It was a guy who looked like a gorilla. It happened right out front of this building. Let me get this quite clear. Are you complaining or bragging? I want to know what you're going to do about it. The scrawny one has a gun. I suggest you contact the police. Can't you do anything about them? What goes on in the streets of Paris is hardly my responsibility. Hey, shake my hand. I have already explained why I would rather not. Aren't you concerned that your guests are being intimidated by gangsters? No one else has complained, monsieur. Did they steal anything from you? Well, no. They didn't find what they were looking for. What was that? I don't know. I don't think they did either. Hmm. Well, that's going to make finding it very difficult. About the key hanging on the hook over there. Oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. So, we could rent it. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. Rats. No, monsieur. Dutch. 
Right. I believe Khan, the man with the scar, is also known as Merlin, the man who has taken room 22. What of it? What do you want? Access to his room. Do you have a license, monsieur? Huh? A private investigator's license? Well, not exactly, but I can explain everything. I am sorry, but without credentials, I cannot help. I insist you give me the key to Merlin's room. I cannot do that, monsieur. This guy Merlin is a menace. So you say, monsieur. He's not only a danger to society, but to your guests as well. He has toyed with the affections of Lady Piermont. <gasps> Ciel! Are there no depths to which he will not sink? Precisely. He's already killed once, twice, maybe as many as three times. With your help, I just might be able to stop him. But what if he finds out I have helped you? No, I cannot do it. That he was even considering it. It's kind of strange. Oh, we can't use the phone, bo Booth. Hello again. Thanks yep. for your help. Goodbye. Nothing up here either. So maybe we have to use the alley on our way out so that those guys don't find whatever we found in the room. Of course, we have no idea how to get in the room, so... Hold it right there. Search him again, Flap. Nothing, Guido. Okay, let him go. Get lost, creep. Oh yeah? And what if I don't? What if I call the cops? First, I break your arms at the elbows and wrists. Then, when you recover consciousness, I break your fingers. There's just one flaw in your plans, ape man. What's that? It's broad daylight. I don't think even you would assault me on a busy street. Of course. This tranquil square at the end of a cul-de-sac. This isolated corner of Paris that hasn't seen a street sweeper's brush since V.E. Day. This would be just about perfect for a mugging. Pardon me, I'm about to get very lost. Okay. Hey, Shorty, I didn't think much of your trick, little man. I don't know what you're looking for, but you picked on the wrong guy. Maybe you'll spread the word around the sewers. George Stobart is on the case. That's Stobart. Two B's and two T's. It sounded impressive to me, but the weasel didn't seem to share my enthusiasm. Still, I figured he'd think twice before gunning me down in the street in cold blood. I do not like your tone. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do about it? If you do not go away, I will gun you down in cold blood right here in the street without thinking twice about it. Right. Question is, were these conversations of any use to us? Not really. Because we don't even know what they're looking for. All right, so I've been looking around and couldn't really find anything useful. So, I guess we'll try. I know I need a key, I need the key, but the clerk won't let me have it. Yes, we got this far. So let's see if we can get a hint to at least know what direction we should be heading in. Make sure you've gone upstairs and examined the relevant doors. 
Then talk to the clerk about it. Okay. We examined them, and they were both locked. The door was locked. The sign on the door read 22. The door was locked. So, how else can we examine the doors? We did do this. Can we, I don't know. Just checking, shot in the dark. Can we use this? I guess not. I don't see anything new here. The door was locked. He doesn't mention the, the number here, but does that make a huge difference? What now, monsieur? No. So we did what it said, but Oh. Make sure you've gone upstairs and examined the relevant doors. Yes, we did. We talked to the clerk about it. We also did that. You need a distraction. Who's the most distracting person in the room? Well, that's Lady What's-Her-Name. But didn't seem like we had any other dialogue with her. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Ah. Now we have more dialogue. That gangster I told you about? He went through my pockets just now. Good heavens! One never knows what to expect in foreign parts. Thank you for the warning, young man. I shall hide my credit cards in my underwear. That's gonna be very, very difficult once you have to pay for stuff. Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? Oh no, it's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scouts on up? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Now tell me, why do you want to get into that room? It's next to the room the killer is using. Ah, so you plan to eavesdrop on Merlin? I was hoping there might be a connecting door. Well, how can I refuse? I shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case. But a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. Okay. I say! You there! Flunky! Oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Over to you, my dear.
subscribe to stay up to date and I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.